Okay, so let's consider this question here. Stationary mass explodes with three fragments. A with a mass of 3m, B with a mass of 2m, C with a mass of 5m. Okay, so first we need to do is actually work out from this um, image what the relative velocities are. So just getting my ruler here, I've got three points and I'm going to measure the distance between those three. Okay, and this actually comes out to 53 millimeters and there's one, two divisions. So that gives us a separation of 26.5 millimeters per division. Now this is mass B and mass B has a mass of 2m. So momentum being equal to mv, so that 2 is going to go at the front there. Um, the velocity units were just using the distance because the time interval was actually all the same and they would eventually cancel out. So I'm then going to times this by 2, so this will have a relative momentum of 53. M. Okay, but I'm just going to leave that off for now because it's not relevant. Okay, these ones are fairly close together, so I'm actually going to measure uh, five of them, and that actually comes out to 55 millimeters. Um, five divisions, so one, two, three, four, five. So that means the division between each one is 11 millimeters. C has a mass of 5m, so I'm going to times that by 5, so that ends up with 55. Over here, I'll measure these three there, and that comes out to uh, 47 millimeters. And there's one, two divisions, so 47 divided by 2 equals 23.5 millimeters per each one there. And of course, mass A has a um, is three times the mass, so I'll times that by three, and I'll end up with uh, 70.5. Okay, so now I need to do the vector diagram. So I'm going to have to add in the angles in which those momentum vectors are. So I'm just going to draw some lines through the center points here. And you can see how it doesn't line up perfectly. Doesn't really matter. All right, so getting my little geoliner or protractor, whatever you want to call it, let's measure the angle. So the line goes on the bottom there. A bit hard doing this. And it actually works out to be 90 degrees. So that's 90 degrees inside of here. And we're going to drop a parallel line from here because remember if it's a parallel line then the angle is going to be remain the same so I'm just going to position that there light it up carefully now I've already done this previously so a bit more careful because I've got to try and get through this otherwise you're going to find the video very boring and that actually ends up with an angle of 54 degrees so now if I do my vector diagram, I'm going to draw vector A. Sorry for that one. So I'm going to draw vector A at 70.5. So there's 70, start from the halfway mark there, go all the way across. So that is vector A. Now tail, head, tail, head. So now I'm going to draw vector B and that's actually 53 millimeters. So making sure I'm doing that at right angles. A better way would be to actually put that there, line up the base carefully, and then mark the 90 degrees. Measure the 53 millimeters. So 55, 54, 53, line it up with that previous dot. So that's vector B, and then vector C, 54 degrees. So I'm just going to carefully do that. 
55 degrees, 54 degrees and that length here actually has to be 55 so positioning that on the one there measure the 55 and draw my vector there as you can see vector A plus B plus C does not return to zero now why does it need to return to zero because this is an explosion so that means all the momentum at the start was equal to zero so therefore the final momentum should also be equal to zero which means it should return to its origin point so in this case here momentum is not conserved okay All right, so now we're looking at the conservation of momentum for the explosion of um, parts A, B and C going off in different directions. So this one had, so magnet A went off with a magnitude of 70.5 and we're going to say that was at um, 180 degrees because it was actually going in the opposite direction. This one starts at zero here and it goes all the way to 180 then the vector for B had a magnitude of 53 and it went up by 90 degrees straight up now there was a part C so all I do is go down to here and I can add an extra vector that had a magnitude of 55 at minus 36 degrees so if momentum was conserved then this value here should be zero and that angle there should be zero and you can see the vector sum drawn with the black arrow here um, that should be zero so therefore momentum was not conserved 